Thank you very much, Professor, and it's always a pleasure to um, listen to colleagues and to interact with them. I'm going to be brief. Um, I think our collaboration with media in Kenya and in the region has been ongoing for decades. And uh, UNAP has been supporting journalists to access information, knowledge. We have organized briefings, trainings, and dialogues to build the capacity of journalists to report better on the environment. But let me here share with you three points that, um, on, 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 on reporting on biodiversity. One, biodiversity is among the key pillars of any transformation process in this continent. This has to be reported in a simple language to everybody across the continent, across Africa, be it a policymaker, private sector, a civil society member, or a normal citizen. Biodiversity can differentiate Africa, and there is a simple principle in business and marketing called differentiation. We need to make sure that people understand the value of what they have and why it's important to be protected and valued. Shea butter, for example, argan tree in my village in North Africa, in the Atlas village, and thousands of species can only be found in this continent. And they hear Chief Thomas from, uh, from um, uh, uh, Kilimanjaro saying how we can interest people, and especially youth, to, to, to plant trees. Let me share with you a brief story. Um, last year, I was um, traveling in, 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 in North Africa and in, in Morocco, and they stopped to take a picture, a photo with a tree called argan tree. Argan tree, people, they make oil of it, uh, out of it. And it's very unique to, 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 to Africa. And not, I mean, two minutes, I saw somebody coming to me asking why, why I'm, 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 what I'm doing there. Um, and I asked him, um, why you are asking me this question? I said, those trees belong to the communities and we live out of those trees. L our livelihood actually depends on, on those trees. So people, they protect when they see actually the value and when their livelihoods are um, uh, linked to, 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 to nature. So we need to value the asset, the natural asset, and make sure that it's part of our economic and social systems. Um, especially in, in, in this uh, post-COVID era world, I'm, I'm sure that um, you are all aware that uh, our economies uh, have been hit badly. And building back, I think that the uh, environment and, and biodiversity should be at the heart of our strategies. And lastly, for this asset to be able to differentiate our continent, it needs value addition. Africa needs to invest in adding value to its natural resources. Africans are aware and have committed to this. And yesterday in the uh, webinar with, the, with, the, with the, the environment, the Ministry of Environment and NEMA and Samuel and Rosalia were there. Uh, CS Tobiko and his peers said that, um, I mean, it's time to move from commitment to action. So, we need to actually move to action. We need to move to investment in our natural resources. And um, on what Bernard said on partnership, I always said uh, to colleagues in the media world that we have to con continue building media as a business in Africa. That's the only way to grow and occupy its place in the market, be it national, regional, or international. At UNEB, and uh, in, in, in Africa region, I assure you that we'll continue supporting you and journalists uh, to build better by strengthening capacities, sharing information and knowledge, and working with you as a partner to do our business in this continent. So with those words, colleagues, thank you very much for your time. I know that you are extremely busy. Thank you very much. And looking, for, uh, looking forward to more collaboration with, with the Guild and media uh, across uh, uh, East Africa. Uh, again, thank you, and I wish you all happy Environment Day. Over. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mohammed. Um, okay, Rosalia, you have a minute uh, to uh, make your closing remarks. 